child, I was always listening to my older sister's 45 RPM records that I played on this little record player. I can still hear the pop and hiss of that thing and how much I loved doing that. One summer, when I was 13, I was cutting some lawns for my neighbors and my parents, and I would get $3 for each lawn that I cut. I was saving the money because I wanted to buy a real guitar. I saw one in a Western Auto catalog for $12, and I thought it was the most beautiful thing in the world. It was an acoustic guitar with a dark wood grain finish. But I, I didn't get the guitar from the Western Auto catalog. Instead, my dad, uh, when we went to the music store, he rented me one for $5 a month. Chuck Berry was a big influence. I, I would imagine that most guitar players today would say that Chuck Berry was a big influence on them. Stevie Ray Vaughan, of course, was a huge influence on me. Well, my music has taken me to many places. I've, I've met a lot of interesting and sometimes famous people. I played for Nelson Rockefeller during his campaign for the presidency. I met movie stars. Um, I once met Buck Henry, who was one of the stars of the movie Catch-22. I've played at Opryland in Nashville, recorded there. I performed from New York to Georgia in clubs, college campuses, county fairs, state fairs. The most thrilling moment of my career uh, was the night that I met Stevie Ray Vaughan. Uh, in my opinion, he was the greatest guitar player of all time. He was uh, in concert in Louisville and wanted to know where he could go and relax and listen to some music. And some people at a local radio station told him that he should go and see this guy named Dr. Don. Now, Dr. Don's been my stage name since the early 1970s. It was truly an amazing night. We talked and he played my guitar and when I asked him to autograph the back of it, he really didn't want to do that, but uh, he, he went ahead and, and literally scratched it into the finish. And uh, my son has that guitar now, he wouldn't part with it for the world. Unfortunately, Stevie Ray Vaughan was killed a few years later in 1990. I've been doing this since 1963. That's 35 years. And uh, I don't know if I stick with it, I might get good. I play with Dr. Don and the Love Dogs. It's a straight ahead rock and roll show. A little boy that stood up in front of his family playing that air guitar seems like a long time ago. But I still have that same feeling of uh, accomplishment and self-worth. I've had to work on the jobs throughout the years, but it's playing music that drives me on. It's what makes me tick. It's my thing. <laughs>